Apple intelligence is here, although not all of it. It is rolling out to many people as we speak right now, and I did not really want to rush this video. I kind of wanted to use Apple intelligence on a day to day basis to see well, is it helpful? Is it a gimmick? And well, it's, it's kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and start with the notification summary. This has got to be my favorite feature in this update because, you know, as a creator, I get tons of emails from brands. And instead of opening up the thread, I find that the notification summary tells me, you know, so-and-so brand wants to partner. Or for things like Instagram, when you have notifications for likes and DMs, you can see both summaries without having to expand. Writing tools is also a pretty neat feature that kind of helps you transform maybe some sloppy text or maybe some unguided words, or maybe if you're just drifting too far off the topic, well, yeah, writing tools will definitely help you on that. Whenever you're writing something, just copy the text and tap on writing tools and you'll get this new pop-up. Now you can either type what kind of changes you want to make or select from one of the presets like friendly, professional, concise, or even turning in the info into a table. But what I think is important here is that writing tools kind of helps to keep your personality. Like I iPhone is not the first phone to be doing this. Other phones have had writing tools as well with AI, but those phones, they kind of transform what you write so much so it doesn't even sound like you at the end. But with writing tools, it kind of helps to keep your style of writing just a bit better. The cleanup tool is here and it helps you remove unwanted things from a photo. And from my experience, it works pretty well, but depending on the size of what you're trying to remove, it can make the photo look a bit too wonky. Um, honestly, this cleanup feature isn't really all that impressive. Companies like Google have been doing this for years now and well, they're just simply better at it. In fact, the Google Pixel, it can completely transform your photo into something totally different with ultra realism. All I can say is Apple is definitely headed into the right direction, but with so much competition out there, they are a little bit behind. Siri has also gotten smarter finally in the 18.2 beta that I'm currently using. It now uses ChatGPT to find the answer that it's looking for. And from experience, it works pretty well. And it's definitely better than the Siri before because we all know the famous phrase, here's what I found on the web, which is super annoying. And now it doesn't do that. You can say things like, what's the rating of the Kevin Hart's latest movie? And it'll use ChatGPT to find the best answer. And you can tell it answered you by using ChatGPT if you look at the logo on the bottom left of the answer. Now, while we're on the subject of Siri, you can now type to Siri, which I think is fantastic, especially during those moments where you don't want to or can't say something out loud. And I do like as you're typing, it gives you predictive suggestions of what you may want. If you want to type to Siri, all you got to do is double tap the bottom of the phone and that's it. Visual intelligence is also here with 18.2 beta and the way it works is by pressing and holding the camera control button and you'll get this new pop up. From here, you can press search image on the right or ask Siri on the left. So let's say you want to find more information about these sunglasses. You can just ask Siri and, you know, sometimes it'll give you a good answer or sometimes it'll give you this and say no logo is visible in the photo, even though there's clearly a logo visible in the photo. So yeah, it, it works, but eh, kind of. What I find works much better is if you use the actual search image function on the right side and doing so will definitely pull up more accurate information. Now, if this looks familiar to you, uh, well, it should because it's uh, it's basically Google Lens. Uh, let's not fool anyone here. It is Google Lens that is baked into a, a, a physical button on the phone. Well, actually, Apple doesn't even like to call it a button, even though it is uh, quite literally a button, but they don't like to call it that because, you know, Apple. While this feature is helpful in some cases, I do think it's just, it's really annoying. It makes no sense that you can't upload a photo into visual intelligence. So for example, let's say you're out and about, you see something that you may want more information on, you take a photo of it, you go home and well, you can't upload it into visual intelligence. I mean, you're, you're just gonna have to reverse Google search that photo and hopefully you find the answer, but definitely not with visual intelligence. There's no way to import a photo. It has to be live. So if you wanna find out something, you know, if you're walking down a store aisle, you want more information on this can of soup that you're holding, you have to use it then and there. You can't take a photo, then go home and search it up. You can't do that. Why? But again, I have to compare with Google Lens, you can search either live or search from the gallery, which just makes 
so much more sense because not everyone wants the information like right now. Sometimes I'm too busy and I just take a picture of something. I'm like, oh, I'll get to it later. And then, oops, I, I can't get to it later. You know, it's weird when it, I don't get it. Like Apple does something cool, but not all the way cool. Just make it all the way cool by now, you know? There are still missing features such as Genmoji, uh, which kind of lets you generate an emoji based on what you type. But for now, I'm on the waiting list. Now, I do think this is so much more important than people realize because, well, let's be honest, kids love, love emojis, right? I mean, I my, my, my 13 year old nephew showed me his text messages with his classmates. They're like hieroglyphics. There's like more emojis in there than actual words. I'm like, how do you understand that? Anyway, kids love emojis. So what Apple is doing right now with Genmoji is trying to capture teens and kids from ever going to Android phones. They want to keep them on iPhone. And this is it. I mean, just look at all these pointless and useless emojis. iPhone has 3,500, yes, 3,500 emojis. I've never used 99% of them, and I'm sure you haven't either unless you accidentally click on it then it goes into your recents and then the one that you that one that was there gets removed and then you have to go find it again that's that's annoying there's no reason for a phone to have 3500 emojis that's not even like normal you know so why have all those emojis that you're just swiping trying to find the right one when you can just type what you want and you get it that's genius. Another new feature is that you can now record your phone calls using the built-in phone app. So whenever you're on a phone call, you'll get a little notification up top. You just press that button, boom. It lets the other person know that you're recording the call and it automatically goes into your notes. While I think that's, you know, it's, it's, it's a good feature. I can see how it would be helpful, but it lets the other person know that you're recording. And look, I totally get that. It's for transparency. It's for, you know, security. But I can think of at least like 10 scenarios where you may not want to let the other person know that you're recording them. You know, maybe some domestic issues, you know, um, I don't want to say it, but you know, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? So it's cool, but like, you know, there are devices like this, you know, you just, it sticks to your phone and it records phone calls without other people knowing. And not only does it record phone calls, it records like anything, anything that produces noise coming out of your phone, this thing records and it just does that, you know? So while it's cool that the, you know, the recording call function is, is, is here on iPhone, uh, it only works with only the phone app and no other app. So it's cool, but you know, Apple needs some work to do. So Apple Intelligence definitely has a lot of new features and yeah, I know I think people are going to use them and love them, especially if you have multiple devices that do support Apple Intelligence. Of course, there are stuff that Apple can work on and I'm pretty sure they will in due time. So if you've been using Apple Intelligence, let me know how your experience has been. I don't have Genmoji yet. I really want it. I don't have the image playground yet. I'm on the waiting list. It's been like a week and a half since I was on the waiting list. So. Hopefully I get it soon. If I do, I'll make an update video and show you guys all about it. Uh, but yeah, let me know your experience. And if you did enjoy today's video, definitely click that like button. And if you're new here, you like to see tech videos, definitely subscribe. As always, this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.